Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today let's take a closer look at this Falk Neven DF24. This is like Diamond File 24 or 2.4 or something. Uh, what it is is basically a steel plate on a plastic um, tab here about the size of a tongue depressor, and then it has the diamond coating on the top of this. Um, one of my favorite um, sharpeners is the Falk Neven DC4 which is a ceramic on one side, so diamond ceramic four inch. That's where the DC4 name comes from. This is just, just wonderful. Love this little, little thing. But uh, this one for larger tools, or if I'm using it on um, kind of more primitive, say knives in this case, this Hori Hori, um, where I really want to uh, kind of clean up an edge or put an edge back on something, um, this is great. Uh, and they sell for about 10 bucks, which is kind of amazing for a, a diamond file, Swedish um, made here. Uh, this is the container it comes in, a whole plastic thing, fine grit, 25 micron, um, diamond plated. Uh, Falk Neven makes all kinds of wonderful things, um, you know, like uh, here's a um, their um, A1X survival knife, just a you know, an amazing chunk of hardware here. Um, here's their, their A1 Pro, which is their similar version, but um, a few differences. Um, love the Falcon even knives. They're actually Japanese steel. It's a laminate steel, cobalt laminate, um, but they do have uh, just tremendous edge holding. Anyway, back to this guy here. So what I like about this, uh, let's take my old beat up DeWalt here, which I did have a warranty replacement on, which was nice. Um, so I can actually polish this thing up. You can see this is in really bad shape. I mean, the nicks there, it's all, all messed up. Um, but anyway, spent a little time just with this. Now, diamonds take off more metal than a lot of things. You know, less than a file, but often more than a fine stone. So you just want to be a little nice. Um, and what I've done with the axes and larger tools with the cutting edge is I might um, kind of take them down to a nice, almost burr-free edge there and then I actually use my Milwaukee die grinder with kind of a Barillo pad. This one's pretty worn but you'll get the idea. Oops. Trying to do this so you can actually see it in the camera. See how it feels here. Not bad, let's take a test here. Here's the ultimate test. What you do is you get your, your old snap-on catalog and turn to a page that you probably won't need. Boy, I need all these pages here. Here we go, I won't be using one of these. Let's see if I can get this thing to cut. There we go. Slide that over a little. Try another one. Not bad for a cheap axe or hatchet. So this particular guy here um, literally can be polished back into service with something that weighs, gosh, I don't know, less than or maybe an ounce, um, almost nothing. Super durable. Uh, just polish it up and uh, go on your way. Um, you can use stones too. I like a lot of uh, the the pucks designed for um, working on axes and hatchets. Um, I have other kinds of, of um, 
sharpening tools. Here's a flip stone. This is also diamond and ceramic. Kind of this neat little thing. This is Falcon even as well. I have a lot of their sharpeners. You can buy Lansky's doubles. But for just simple stuff, you're not too worried about. Inexpensive, super durable, highly effective. Um, this uh, Falcon even DF24 um, definitely gets my recommendation. And with that, Doc out.